In this video, I'm going to tackle a question that deals with two liquidity ratios. Now, this is a relatively easy question, so let's cut right to the chase. There are three nuggets of knowledge that will help you to determine the correct answer and earn yourself a mark. Nugget number one. Both the current and quick ratios are measures of liquidity. Now, they analyze the ratio between a company's current assets and current liabilities. In other words, if the company were to liquidate certain assets, to what extent would it be able to cover its current liabilities? And the ratio could be stated as 1x, 2x, or whatever. Nugget number two. To understand these ratios, you obviously need to know the definition of a current asset and a current liability. Current assets are defined as assets that are either cash or could be easily converted to cash in a fairly short time frame, typically one year, without a loss of capital. Now, examples may include cash and cash equivalents, accounts receivable, and even inventory. Current liabilities are defined as liabilities that are payable within one year. So to quickly recap, for both current assets and current liabilities, keep in mind that time frame of one year. Nugget number three. A key difference between the two ratios is how quickly a company can pay off its current liabilities. Let's look closely at each ratio. The current ratio factors in all current assets, including inventory. But as you can imagine, it can take some time to sell inventory. And sometimes inventory can even sit on the shelf for a while and may even become obsolete and eventually written off. On the other hand, the quick ratio is the strictest or as we like to say, the more stringent test of liquidity because it does not include inventory figures. Now take note, this means that assuming a company has some level of inventory, the quick ratio will always be lower than the current ratio. Now with all this in mind, let's circle back and tackle the actual question. If you look at answers C and D, they're really saying completely opposite things. Now this isn't always the case, but when two answers completely contradict each other, I'd encourage you to look closely at those answers as there's usually a good chance one is wrong and the other is right. Now, as we already discussed, the quick ratio is a more stringent test because it does not include inventory in the current asset figure and therefore will be lower. So I'm gonna quickly flag answer C as correct and answer D as incorrect. But to be sure that we're correct though, let's see if the other answer choices can be eliminated. The current ratio and quick ratio are not the same thing, so we can definitely eliminate answer A. The quick ratio includes all current assets except inventories, but there are other non-cash assets included, such as accounts receivable, so this also eliminates answer B. So to recap, we've eliminated answer A, we've eliminated answer B, and we've eliminated answer D, and now we can be very confident in our answer C. And the answer key confirms we are correct.